All right, good uh, morning, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. It's the 26th of June, 2024. Uh, we are in week 11 of the first edition of UTJ, uh, UTJ1. It's Wednesday and it's morning stand up. In terms of announcements, um, we have our interim submission today. Uh, we have our graduation coming up on the 5th of July, which is in about 10 days. And uh, we're going to be communicating with everybody <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to be communicating with everyone in the next, uh, I think we've already sent out a save the date, but sending out invitations uh, for people to attend the graduation is going to be happening uh, through the course of this week. So we're happy, uh, curious, I, I'm actually personally curious how people are finding this week's challenge. Um, so Habib, over to you, we'd like to hear how things are going uh, for you this week. Any blockers and uh, yeah, that's probably we have time to discuss because you've taken the time to be here. So happy to have a discussion with you about anything that's on your mind. So go ahead, Habib. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So I'm just trying to send you now. I just go to the office now. So but unfortunately, I've not started my task. But hopefully after my class today, I'll, I'll start. Okay. Have you had a look at the this have you had a look at this week's challenge? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. And how are you finding it? I mean what what we've tried to do yeah, from, is to, from, to kind from, of bring, bring what everything I've read together. So far. Is it? I said what we're trying to do is to bring everything together. So to make it really a comprehensive uh start to finish uh project management task. And that's why we made it two weeks long instead of the usual one week. Yes, yes, I can see from the the task is a, a bit bulky, and so far <laughs> I understand. I understand <laughs> what's in, what's inside, but I've not started. Is bulky? Uh, can bulky ever be good? You say? Is bulky a good thing? Yeah, bulky is good. Is a good thing, provided it's time. So <laughs> I'm trying to manage my time to to finish up the task, but yeah. then I have lost that yet. But remember that this is a two week long task. So this is unusual in that it doesn't, submissions are not on Saturday. It's a two week long task. So that's uh, yes. part, of, part of why we made the bulk. Oh, okay, thank yeah. you. Any blockers? Or I guess you need to read the challenge before uh, you have any blockers, before you're able to talk about blockers. Um. With the help of uh, ChatGPT and uh, YouTube, I really don't have blockers, except for the time management factor. Okay, I'm, yes. I'm not exactly. I'm I'm not sure what what ChatGPT is. Never heard of it, but um, no, I'm just joking. Okay, uh, <laughs> that sounds that sounds good. So, okay, who wants to go? Uh, who would like to go next? So let's go around the room, uh, just the usual stand-up format. So Gutierrez, go ahead. Hello, good morning. I hope you can all hear me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so um, uh, the task is good. It's bulk, but I like it that way. Uh, only that uh, I'm experiencing some blocker here with uh, Figma. I'm trying to, to, to figure out where to get the, the template for user journey map. I can't find it. That's the only blocker that I have. But everything, so it's fine. Eh? So I'm, I, I'm surprised if you're not able to find that. I think that's something that should be pretty easy to find. Um, have you you've obviously had a look. You've searched. You've googled a little bit, and you've looked for it. Yep. I'm actually using YouTube, uh, to, and I can actually see on YouTube where they are finding that templates yeah but come to what i have on my screen there's nothing like that so i'm just wondering what okay <laughs> i'm going I'm to do a quick challenge here uh user journey i'm going to see if i can map figma uh, so you know there's two types of figma right there's figma and fig gem I don't know that. So I think you may need to use, uh, here we go. Here's one in something called FigJam. It's 
Uh, I'm going to put it here, customer journey map templates to visualize your buyer's point of view. I'm going to put it into um, Slack. I'm going to tag you. And uh, so Figma and FigJam are two different. Uh, I don't know. I can't describe to you exactly how they're related. They're two uh, sister products, or FigJam, I believe, to be a subset of Figma. OK, OK. I think so I'll send that to you. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for my Slack is being, my internet is very, very slow. Um, who's going next, guys? Uh, so thanks. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Gutierrez. Um, let's go around the room. Who else would like to contribute? Posting the link. Uh, I'm going to tag Gutierrez. Uh, Yeah, Fig Jam, Fig, so Fig Jam is more like Miro or it's, so I, I 95 to 99% of the time I use Fig Jam and not uh, Figma. I find that it's much more um, useful for documentation and for flowcharts and tools like the ones that we're trying to use. So I've posted a link. Um, who's gonna go next? We wanna go around the room and hear from everyone and it's usual stand-up format. How are things going? Uh, anything that's uh, blocking you? So let's go to Kalajan. Yeah, good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Aos. Kalajan, are, are you me? able to speak? Yeah. I, I have been enjoying this program so far. And this week has not been an exemption. We are pushing it. But for the ones of time, I wish this program had been compressed to like four weeks in, let's say, a summer school or boot camp or data camp, something. We have gotten more out of it because we have been concentrated on every of these tools that we are doing. And that, and that, that we have done have done a long way. Way. However, despite the time schedules and all that, we are still trying to manage and manage see how we can the best of it. What I'm doing naturally is uh, documenting all the tools that we have been introduced to. And the ones that I did not get in details now, I am scheduling them for another time when I'll be uh, less busy to go through them. But by and large, this program has been a huge um, contributor to, to my person. And I am grateful for every inch of it. Thank you. Arun, you're on mute. So how are you Sorry, thank you. Sorry, I was saying I was having a bit of a connectivity issue, so I missed the start of what you said, Collagio. Uh, yeah, sorry, technical problem here. Could you repeat what you said at the start? All right. Um, I said um, I am enjoying every bit of this program, and yeah. but for the ones of time and schedules, competing schedules, that is. Um, affecting concentration and all uh i was saying that i would have preferred if this program had been compressed to say a four weeks or three weeks and it is now like a summer school where we are camped and everybody is concentrated on these tools that yeah. we are being exposed to on a weekly basis you know it will have been easy to design the course to say okay this first week we are focusing on data um cleanup and um, management this second week we are doing product development this one we are doing this and we'll be concentrated on all of those tools so i now say that for me what i was doing is documenting all of those tools we are doing on a weekly basis and those i can catch up with yes i'm catching up and those i can't i'm documenting them for a time when i'll be less busy okay. to be able to explore them but the truth is uh this program has been a big contributor to cannot be grateful enough for the opportunity that um, Ten Academy has brought. Uh, I may not have said what I said initially in the same language, but that is a summary of what I was saying. Okay, no, that's wonderful. We're very happy. Uh, I mean, for us, I think you're also working in the edu education space, so I believe you have the same view that the, what, the reason one does this is so that the knowledge goes further. Uh, so we're very happy to see that. Um, I hope that 
um, in terms of this challenge, you have a sufficient amount of time. And you know, what we're trying to let people know is that if we know that it's quite busy and we have to find the right balance of teaching more material and finding the right format, the first time we're doing this uh, format, our typical format is 60 hours a week for, uh, for three months. And so that's the format that we're used to where we force people or make sure that people are as full time as possible. This is a new format for us. So we're going to be opening up applications for the second edition of the training. They're going to be open on Monday, the 1st of July. And so we will be making some adjustments uh, to the program to help uh, make it a little bit easier for the diverse uh, range of people who are participating. But uh, that's that's well heard, Collagio. Any blockers on this on this specific challenge or any specific uh, support that we can provide? No, I'm good for now. I'm good for now. Good. Okay, perfect. All right, let's keep going. Let's go around the table. Who else wants to give us an update, please? Anyone else? I'd, lo I'd love to, we'd love to hear from everyone. So it would be great if, uh, just put your hand up. Otherwise I would like to call on people if you're here, um, especially if you're facing a challenge or if you figured something out, I'd also be happy to hear that. So just now that is unmuted, go ahead. No, anybody? I mean, otherwise, I can just repeat the announcements. I can't force anyone to speak. Um, this week's challenge, does somebody want to go? Gutierre, go ahead. Hello, hello. Uh, I've just uh, logged into that fig. You've called it fig jam, eh? Yeah. And there's, there's totally no difference, actually. There's totally no difference with what I, I, I had been seeing. Eh? There's no difference. Yeah, maybe, I, I don't know if I can share my screen. Yeah, so why? Well, I mean, so maybe I can ask a question. Has anyone else been able to get the user journey mapping working? Can anyone give Guterres a hand? Has anyone gotten that far? Rufael, have you have you managed to get the user journey mapping working? Yeah. Okay. So are you using FigJam or are you using Figma? What what are you using to, to make it work, Rufael? I use Figma or mapping with the journey. Okay. Um could you could you share in the Slack group which template you're using? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so then Kateri, you can reach out to Rufael and he'll be able to give you a hand. If anyone else is having trouble with user journey mapping, um, Rufael, are, are you okay providing support to different people? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're okay if people write to you on Slack. Okay. Ready, Ed? Your, your audio is. Uh, it's very funny. It sounds like you're in space. <laughs> I think I think your headset. Maybe check your headset. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you sound a bit scary. I'm not going to sleep tonight, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like the alien invasion is coming. <laughs> Is there a little bit better now? What about uh, perfect now? Okay. Yeah. Very better. Okay, I, I was I don't need safe that. now. <laughs> I'm still not gonna sleep now. <laughs> okay, I, I heard Guitar talking about the template and the thing that I wanted to add to add is even if you got the template it says that uh, you can open the template using Fij uh, what is that? Fijma, I guess, but at the end it will go through or it will end up going to Figma. So you can consider that even if you're using the template from Figma, that one, uh, then you you can consider that you're using Figma. So it is okay to use uh, that template too. It is for Gitteri if you 
got my point. I think you've just tried it now and you've got the solution, I guess. Yeah, it seems like he, he tried it, but it didn't work. But okay, Gateri, I can guarantee you it's a solvable problem. Yeshi, good morning. Yes, good morning, everyone. I hope everything everything is going well with you all. Everything so is it's good. It's my first time to 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 speak in a stand up. Most of the time, this time is not good for me. I am busy with some office jobs. So what I would like to say is I'm lucky that I joined new to the Academy. So. Uh, starting from week two up to end of uh, the current week, I was enjoying those all challenges. I didn't miss any of those challenges, and also it helped me a lot, even in my daily my day in my daily routine journey, as well as I am I am applying it at my my workplace too. Uh, so it's helping helping me by saving time and. Uh, before, uh, I don't know about those uh, project management tools, which is very time time saving and uh, well uh, flexible. And also, uh, now I'm doing this week challenge. I, uh, I already finished tax one. I started tax two, creating a user journey map. I I I created one user profile journey but i have a one can anyone else hear yeshi i lost her connection yes <laughs> can you hear me now can anyone hear her is it just me hello hello yeah actually we can hear you okay uh, i'm on i'm on order sorry yes, yeah, no. I, maybe it's my it's my connection so yeah go yeah, yeah. So uh, regarding this week challenge, uh, I already done task one. I started this morning task two. Uh, I tried to create a user profile on Figma, uh, but I have one question here. Uh, I created already one, one user profile, uh, but uh, for my project, I selected uh, three user profile. So, when one i did it already on um, one template i created one user profile if i need to do the next two uh, the remaining two user profile can i use on the same template or i should have to create a new template i have one confusion here if read it uh, you can help me <clears throat> i mean just leaving aside so let, allow me to interrupt before radia goes in let's imagine you're at work and if you had asked your employee or someone on your team to do this user journey mapping, why would you expect three different templates or one common template? Uh, because uh, for my project, uh, I have three, three user personnel, three user pro personnel. So I created right. one, one I can understand that, person. but why would you, if for the three user personas, so let's say you're, you're working in telecoms, I think. So if you have your personas are students, um, male, adult male and adult female, three different use cases, wouldn't you want them in the same template? The same mm, format? Is there any possibility to work on one user template or uh, I should I have to create three user template? That is my confusion here. So I'm not sure if you mean by template, do you mean the format? Like you need three different yeah, yeah. journeys. The format on Figma, yes. They should be, they should follow the same format, but you should have three different ones, right? An adult I male and a student are probably a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. That was my, my confusion. Thank you so much. But if we just think about it from a very, forget the, forget the assessment perspective, if you are a manager and you ask somebody to do this work for you, if they come up with three different formats, it's just much more difficult to understand. So it's much easier if we just have one template, one format, isn't it? Okay. We follow the same template and format. 
So yes, I, I think that that's, that seems like a reasonable way to proceed. So we should have to create uh, three templates for each one, or uh, we should have to uh, use one template. template. The same mm. template, but then three different user terms. Okay. What about while we submit? Uh, that means we we have to create three. We have three link, right? If it is that the case. I mean, you can also put them in the same file. Right. Figma okay. and Figjam allows you. That's one of the nice things about this tool. Um, it's an it's an infinite sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. So you may okay. not be you may not be gaining anything by having three separate files. Okay, I understand. With me, I would because let's imagine the scenario where you're presenting it to somebody else. It's a little bit easier to have it in one file, and that's one of the functionalities of the tool. Okay, now I understand. Really. Yes, I have a question for you. Just out of curiosity, can you give me one example of something that you are now saving, an example of how you're saving time? You mentioned project management, but you said that you're saving time by using some of the tools. So can you give me one example? For example, before, uh, I don't know how to do on Tirelo, uh, on Asana. So uh, especially AI. For example, before I I don't know about AI before uh, this journey. So to write an email, maybe it will take you yes. ten minutes. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. I think yeah. it might be my connection here, guys. That's not working so well. Uh, anyone else who would like to share an update? We have uh, time for, I think, uh, one or two more, and then we'll just recap the announcement. We only have three announcements. Anyone want to share an update? Anyone having a challenge? And I would really like to focus here on, uh, not on how uh, the overall program, but really on this week's challenge. No? Anybody? Okay. So, uh, Sosten is saying it's a great climax. It's going to come in handy um, and boosting the portfolio for the better. Um, I, so, one thing I wanted to touch on was also the careers challenge. This week we have the LinkedIn profile. Um, it's a very important, um, having, I think, the two most important things in terms of getting a job in these days one is your linkedin profile and the second is your cv and we're going to be working on both i know that we've gotten the cvs done before um, but having your linkedin profile uh, up to date is important for a couple of reasons one is that your linkedin is usually something that people uh, have a quick look at when they're uh, reviewing your material and trying to decide is that is that someone we want to interview that's one the second is that a lot of companies are now using something called LinkedIn Easy Apply, where the company posts a job and they rely on LinkedIn as a platform to receive applications and also to automate in an automated way or using, before it used to be called automated, now it's AI enhanced, enabled, blah, 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 to sort out those CVs and to recommend who to interview. Um, so for those two reasons, getting your LinkedIn profile um, at least error-free as a minimum standard and ideally representing yourself in the best possible way is uh, very important and very useful. Um, so I would encourage everyone to spend time on the careers challenge and ensure that your LinkedIn profile is up to date. If you have any questions, I would encourage you further not only to rely on uh, waiting for a grade back, but to be active and feel free to ping Miriam and me to if you have any questions or you want to have a discussion. In terms of other announcements, we have the interim and interim submission today uh, as part of the two week long challenge. Uh, the graduation ceremony, which we hope everyone will attend, uh, everyone who's going to be graduating will attend, uh, is Friday the 5th of July and you'll be receiving communication from Akita on that uh, in the next, um, as during the course of this week. Uh, applications for the second edition of the UTJ training 
will be opening up on the 1st of July. And we will again be reaching out to the community to try and get um, recommendations on how do we get more people into the program. We believe strongly that um, enabling everybody to become uh, as expert of an, a user in these tools as possible will have an impact. And that's why we're interested in doing this program. And of course, we're uh, grateful to the donors that made uh, the QT vehicle. Uh, so there will be a PDS certificate, Collado. Um, so yeah, I, if that's what you mean by e-certificate, we're not going to be, we had thought about and we've never managed to get like a blockchain-based certificate or something where it can be verified online. Everyone who's graduating will be receiving a certificate and a number of people will be receiving certificates with uh, distinction. Um, so keep an eye, uh, keep an eye out for that. Are there any announcements from the team or any comments or questions from the group that's here? Uh, no, for me. If not, then, okay, wishing everyone a good day. Sorry for my technical issues. My internet connection is not behaving very well. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. We'll see you guys during the course of the day.